turbines will come in from the left and they will swing round as we've just created this turning area. So the blades swing round and then head up the road there. And then the bridge that you can see, they've checked every single stone. So when they rebuild the left hand side of the bridge, every single stone will be put back in the same place where it was um, to begin with. So, yeah. And this is T5. So we've just come down from around here and then the other um, T1, 2 and 3 are um, to the right of us. But here you can see the foundation before it's been backfilled. Um, so once it's backfilled, all of the um, very large disc area will be covered in soil and you'll only be able to see the um, bit at the top sticking out from the earth. So this will be me i'd be half in the soil half of my head poking out of the soil once this is all backfilled so i'm just standing on the um a bit of the foundation that will be covered in earth once it's backfilled so yeah this is currently a massive hole <laughs> that will be soon to be backfilled in here we are at t3 uh, so what they're doing here is they are backfilling the foundation so the foundations extend right all the way around here um, and they're just covering them over with um, the soil um, and uh, earthworks that were, that were there um, previously so they just cover them back over so that just the edge of the uh, the inner part of the foundation can be seen once the turbines are up i'm stephen parker from the Dire ecology I'm the ecological clerk who works at Kirkhill Wind Farm for Ripple Energy and my job or role is to oversee or to monitor environmental compliance in line with planning conditions on site. So part of the ECAO role on site involves protected species surveying and surface water management on site. This is the site of T1, so you can see this is where we had to clear some forestry um, to make way for the turbine. So it was this old um, pine trees that were here um, but now um, the trees have been removed and then we'll do compensatory planting of broadleaf um, slow growing um, trees instead which will have far higher biodiversity value than um, the previous um, forest that was there. So here you can see this is T1's uh, foundation, you can see that in the far corner. Now you can see here we've had to create quite a bit of space. Um, this is obviously more space than the turbine takes up and that is so that um, the crane that will erect the turbine has got plenty of room to be um, put together and then the blades will be put together on um, while the hub is on the, on the ground and then the whole thing will be moved up into place um, so we need quite a bit of space to be able to do that um, but then once the um, construction is complete we will then be able to um, remove some of the hard standing um, because it won't be needed um, for the long term and this is t2 so you can see we've just come from kind of around there so t1 is around there so you can see elsa craig um, in the background just over the sea there so this is t2 it's got a pretty good view of the um of the sea there and, and Elsa Craig um, and then in the distance you can see I don't know whether you can see sort of around there there is um, another wind farm and then on the top of the hill there there's um, another few turbines as well so yeah this is T2 and um, this is the foundation so it's been backfilled to all of this area here um, the foundations actually extend out um, quite a way uh, beyond um, what you can actually see which has been covered up um, and backfilled um, to, um, because it, 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 only that bit needs to be sticking up and so once the turbine is up all you'll be able to see is, is the um, concrete bit there that um, you can see at the moment.